In this video, I'm revealing some of my favorite wines that sell for around $40 a bottle. There's red wines and white wines in a variety of different countries and regions represented, so there should be something for everyone. The first wine that I'm recommending for about $40 a bottle is Chateau Obaye II. As the name suggests, this is the second wine for Obaye. Obaye is located in Pesach Leonion, and the 2020 vintage was quite impressive for this producer. They use 30% of the production to make this second wine, and especially for a second wine, it has impressive concentration and kind of a deep, dark, inky purple color. This is a wine that's 54% Merlot and 46% Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a wine that's made in a style that's designed to be enjoyable young, and it should last for about 12 to 15 years or so. This is a wine that received impressive critical acclaim in high scores, especially for a second wine. So this is definitely a wine that I would recommend if you're looking for an outstanding Pesach Leonion that's ready to enjoy in the near term. Pingus is one of the top producers in Spain's Ribera del Duero region. Their top wine is a cult wine that sells for more than $800 per bottle. They also have an extremely impressive second wine called Flor de Pingus, which sells for a little more than $100 per bottle and which I enjoy as well. But fortunately for bargain hunters, they also have an extremely impressive third wine called Sai. The 2021 Sai was just released, and I found it selling for a very reasonable $36 per bottle. This is a wine that Peter Sissek creates from fruit that he sources from independent growers in Ribera del Duero. Sissek has been encouraging these producers to use organic and biodynamic farming practices. Sissek rewards them by paying them well for the fruit that they produce, and by paying them more as the quality levels improve. This is a wine that it's important for them to produce in volume so that they can keep the price reasonably low. They produce more than several hundred thousand bottles per year. This is a blend that consists of 90% Tempranillo and 10% Garnacha, and it comes in at an extremely reasonable 14% alcohol by volume. It's an incredibly rare opportunity to be able to get a wine of this quality from a top-notch producer for only around $36 per bottle, so you really can't go wrong with this one. One of my very favorite wine trips was a visit to Santorini, Greece. I ended up visiting a number of producers there, including Gaia, which has a tasting room that's ideally located right on the Aegean Sea. One of my favorite wines from that trip was the Assyrtiko. For those who are not familiar with Assyrtiko, it's a bone-dry white wine that can be full-bodied with very, very high acidity, and it has descriptors that often include stone, citrus, and tropical fruits. Interestingly, there are such harsh conditions that they need to train their vines in basket shape. They then train the grapes so that they're in the middle of the basket and that this basket helps to protect these grapes from the harsh winds and fierce conditions in Santorini. Due to the fact that they have volcanic soils, they've never experienced phylloxera in Santorini. And so they do have a number of very old, impressive vines that create some concentrated, complex wines. Assyrtiko is one of my favorites because it pairs extremely well with seafood. And this is a very impressive wine and one of my favorites, and it sells for around $40 per bottle. Next up is a Zuccardi Concreto Malbec from the outstanding 2021 vintage. This wine is aptly named as it's matured in concrete. This wine is 100% Malbec, and the fruit is sourced from estate vineyards on high elevation sites with extremely chalky soils in Altamira. This is a wine that I enjoy every vintage, but the 2021 is particularly expressive and vibrant. It has some intriguing floral notes, as well as mixed red, blue, and black fruit, and some mixed spice as well. This is an impressive wine that received a couple 95-point scores from well-known critics. Zuccardi is definitely one of my favorite producers from Argentina, and they've been firing on all cylinders lately, so you really can't go wrong with this one. If you're interested in wine recommendations, wine collecting strategies, and learning more about wine, please do subscribe to my channel. I've been collecting wine for more than 15 years, and also have a level 4 diploma from the WSET, so I have both formal certification as well as substantial practical knowledge from the School of Hard Knocks. Iconic Spanish producer La Rioja Alta traces its roots way back to 1890. La Rioja Alta's wines are the result of traditional winemaking methods combined with modern, state-of-the-art winemaking technology. For example, while La Rioja Alta's wines have been strong for many years, 
They recently experienced a jump in quality because they implemented optical sorting equipment. As a result, only the best fruit makes it into their wines now, and they're using a more stringent selection than they did in the past. The next of my favorite wines for around $40 per bottle is the 2016 La Rioja Alta Vina Ardanza Reserva. This excellent wine is a blend of 80% Tempranillo and 20% Garnacha. As with the 2015 vintage, this 2016 vintage was well received by critics and received a number of impressive scores. This is a wine that you can enjoy now in a pinch, but I think it would be better if you could hold off for at least another year or so. This wine is an ideal cellar defender as well because you can enjoy it in the near term or at any time over the next 10 years or so, so it gives you lots of flexibility in your cellar. This is always a reliable go-to wine, but the 2015 and 2016 vintages are particularly strong. So I definitely recommend the 2016 and certainly the 2015 as well if you're able to find that one. Torbrecht has long been one of my favorite Australian producers. A few weeks ago, I recommended a wine called the Struy, and I received a number of favorable comments from viewers who enjoyed that wine very much. So in this video, I'm going to recommend another wine from Torbrecht, namely the Steeding. The 2021 vintage of the Steeding is available now. This is a GSM blend that consists of around 50% Grenache, 28% Syrah, and about 21% Mataro, which is also known as Morved. This is a full-bodied wine that comes in at around 15% alcohol by volume. It's a wine you can enjoy immediately with a healthy decant and which will cruise in your cellar effortlessly for up to a decade or so. This wine really offers a lot of bang for the buck, and it's one that I definitely recommend if you're a fan of GSM blends. While Marlborough, New Zealand is justifiably recognized as a source for high-quality Sauvignon Blanc, they also do an excellent job with Chardonnay. One of my favorites comes from Dog Point, and it sells for around $40 a bottle. The 2020 vintage is on store shelves now and received tremendous critical acclaim. This is a wine that you might mistake for a Merceau in a blind tasting. It has around 13.5% alcohol by volume. They matured this one on the lees for 18 months, which gives it some impressive texture and complexity. This is another wine that you can enjoy either immediately or at any time over the next 10 years. The next wine for about $40 a bottle is another one from Bordeaux, this time from saint Emilion on Bordeaux's right bank namely the 2020 Chateau Corbin. This is an impressive wine that's full-bodied, yet very elegant. Interestingly, part of the wine was matured in wine glass globes, which is something that I've seen more producers experimenting with. This wine received a 93-point score and a couple 94-point scores. This is definitely a wine that will improve if you can wait for a couple years to start digging in, but you should be able to enjoy it for a decade or so after that with no problem whatsoever. This wine is mostly Merlot, but there's a little bit of Cabernet Franc as well. The vines that produce this fruit average an impressive 33 years of age. They used about 77% of the harvest to produce this top wine. 2021 was an outstanding vintage in Santa Barbara County, so the next top wine for $40 a bottle is the 2021 Diovlet Santa Barbara County Pinot Noir. Diovlet is a small producer that was formed in 2008 by Ryan Diovlet. This is definitely a boutique producer, but they make about 376 cases or so of this Appalachian Pinot Noir. It's incredibly vibrant and expressive, and it's definitely an extraordinary wine for an Appalachian Pinot Noir and at this price point. Diovlet is an exciting young producer, so in addition to this wine, you may want to try some of their other wines as well, as I think you'll be very impressed with them. If you're interested in more wine recommendations at the $25 price point, be sure to check out this video, which is linked above. 